The disappearance of Elodia Ginescu has become one of the most puzzling and controversial cases in modern history. While some remember her as a mysterious and captivating figure, others recall her as a dangerous criminal who left a trail of destruction in her wake. From her alleged involvement in cults to her numerous ties to the criminal underworld, Elodia Ginescu's life was shrouded in secrecy and intrigue. As investigators continue to search for answers, the question remains, who was Elodia Ginescu? and what secrets did she take with her when she vanished? Stay tuned as we dive into the crazy life and unravel the mystery of the most covered case in the history of mass media. In order to get a better idea of what this case will unravel, let's dive into this woman's background. Melodia Ginescu, a name that once stood for power, prestige, and success, now hides a deep, dark mystery. Born into a life of privilege on January 21, 1978, in Romania, Elodia was more than just a successful lawyer. She was a woman of unfathomable intellect and tenacity. Her rise to prominence was nothing short of meteoric. Her reputation as a brilliant legal mind preceded her wherever she went. But there was something more to Elodia than her successes, a shadowy quality that left some uneasy in her presence. And then one day, she vanished without a trace, leaving behind only questions and an insatiable hunger for the truth about her enigmatic life. Jump all the way to 2004, Ms. Ginescu married Christian Choka, a police officer she had met while working on one of her cases. The couple eventually had two children, a daughter and a son, and appeared to be a generally happy couple with a great life. It seemed like a storybook romance, the brilliant lawyer and the dashing police officer, united in marriage and blessed with two beautiful children. But beneath the surface, a sinister darkness lurked, threatening to shatter the illusion of happiness. Whispers of jealousy and strife swirled around the couple, and some speculated that the seemingly perfect union was anything but. Some people claimed that Christian was jealous of his wife's success and independence, but despite the problems in their marriage, Elodia continued to focus on her career and quickly rose through the ranks of her law firm. She became a partner in the firm and was known for her dedication to her clients and her willingness to take on tough cases. August 29, 2007, marked the day when Elodia Ginescu vanished into thin air, leaving behind a trail of confusion and suspicion. It all started with a seemingly routine business meeting in the bustling city of Ploisti, a meeting that would prove to be anything but routine. Elodia, a successful lawyer accustomed to navigating high-pressure situations, attended the meeting as usual, but something about this one was different. What happened next remains a mystery, but what we do know is that Elodia's husband reported her missing on September 5th, and the police launched an extensive search that yielded no significant evidence. According to her husband, he dropped her off at the train station where she boarded a train to Vogresti for a scheduled client meeting. However, the events that followed did not go according to plan, leading us all to wonder, what really happened to Elodia Ginescu? As the days turned into an agonizing wait, Elodia Ginescu's family and friends grew increasingly anxious. She never arrived at her destination, and a sense of unease settled over those who knew her. The investigation into her disappearance began immediately, with the police questioning anyone who had seen or spoken to her that fateful day. Their search led them to a couple's apartment in Bucharest, but they found no signs of a struggle or forced entry. The search for clues continued, but as weeks turned into a haunting void of uncertainty, rumors began to swirl about what really happened to Elodia. Some whispered over a lover's tryst gone wrong, while others shuddered at the thought of a darker, more sinister possibilities, such as kidnap or murder. Whatever the truth may be, the mystery is of Elodia Ginescu's disappearance still looms large, casting a long shadow over those who remember her. The investigation into Elodia's disappearance took a shocking turn when her own husband, Christian Choka, the policeman, became a prime suspect. As the last person to have seen her before she vanished, the police force began to suspect that he had something to do with her mysterious absence. Their search of his house uncovered disturbing evidence of a desperate cleanup effort and they later discovered that he had used his police car to transport a heavy object that they believed could have been Elodia's body. The case quickly captured the attention of the media and the public, and her loved ones made numerous appeals for any information that could help solve the puzzle of her whereabouts. Initially denying any involvement, Mr. Choka's story soon began to unravel when the police uncovered evidence of his use of Elodia's mobile phone to make calls after her disappearance. In 2008, Christian's world came crashing down when he was arrested and charged with the murder of his wife. He swore he was innocent, and the trial that followed was one of the most high-profile criminal cases in Romania's recent history. 
The prosecution's case was built on circumstantial evidence, claiming that Christian had killed Elodia out of jealousy and disposed of her body. Evidence included traces of Elodia's blood in Christian's car, and footprints that matched his shoes found in the Guinness School apartment. Even a confession letter written by Christian himself was presented as proof of guilt. But the defense team fought back, claiming there was no direct evidence and that other factors could have led to Elodia's disappearance. As the trial unfolded, the public was on edge, waiting for the verdict to be delivered. And when it finally came, the shocking news sent shockwaves through the nation. Despite his repeated denials, Christian Choka was found guilty of murdering his wife and sentenced to 22 years behind bars. The verdict sent shockwaves through the country, sparking heated debates and widespread media coverage. The prosecution's case was built on circumstantial evidence, including incriminating mobile phone records and traces of blood found in Christian's car. However, throughout the trial, he maintained his innocence, claiming that he had been coerced into signing a confession letter that he claimed was a forgery. Despite his appeal, the Romanian Supreme Court upheld the original verdict, leaving Christian with no choice but to serve out his sentence. Christian was found guilty and sentenced to 22 years in prison. The trial may be over, but the debate and speculation continue to this day, whether she left on her own accord or someone else was responsible for her disappearance. The aftermath of this trial and case overall had a profound impact on the Romanian society. The verdict brought a sense of closure and justice to Elodia's family and friends after years of agonizing uncertainty about her fate. They were grateful that Christian had finally been held responsible for his heinous crime. However, there were also suspicions of political manipulation, with some politicians accused of using the case for their own benefit and interfering with the investigation. Speculation swirled that the trial was a mere distraction from more pressing issues like corruption and economic woes, raising concerns about the integrity of the justice system. The case surrounding Christian's conviction for his wife's murder has been far from over. In 2016, he made a shocking claim that would shake the foundation of the case. In a letter to a Romanian newspaper, he stated that Elodia had faked her own death and had disappeared with the help of a former intelligence officer. If true, this would mean that Christian had been wrongfully convicted and that the real killer was still out there. However, the authorities were quick to dismiss his claims, calling them baseless and lacking any evidence. But in 2018, a new lead emerged when a woman came forward claiming to have seen Elodia alive and well in Belgium. Could this be the break in the case that would exonerate Christian, or would it lead to even more questions than answers? However, this lead also proved to be a dead end, as the authorities were unable to verify the woman's claims or locate Miss Guinnesscu. To this day, the mysterious disappearance and murder of Elodia Guinnesscu and the subsequent trial and conviction of her husband, Christian Choka, still captivate the imagination of the public. Despite numerous developments in the case, including claims of innocence and reported sightings of Elodia alive and well, the truth remains elusive. Some cling to hope that Elodia is still out there, while others believe her husband is responsible for her death. But one thing is certain, the case serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of justice and accountability, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. The intense media attention and ongoing public interest in the case have cemented the status as one of Romania's most high-profile criminal investigations.